nearly $1 million and more than 400 tons of food. That's how much it takes to feed our nearly 3,000 animals here at Denver Zoo. Welcome back to DZTV. I'm your host, Carly McGuire. Nutrition is a cornerstone of animal care and ensuring our animals are happy and healthy. And we have a whole team led by nutrition director Jason Williams dedicated to making sure our animals get meals that are suited to their needs. Animal nutrition isn't just species-based, it's tailored to every individual based on their age and health considerations. We have a computer program that we actually plug all these different food items into and it will give us you know, the, the protein levels, the fat levels, the vitamin E, the calcium phosphorus ratios, all of those things go in to establishing a diet for a particular animal. So. But feeding a family of 3,000 is a lot of work. Nutrition Center Manager Katrina Eschweiler oversees a small but mighty team of three nutrition specialists who do most of their work before the animals are even awake. Uh, we all arrive in at six o'clock in the morning. Um, from about six to seven, so about an hour, we do daily polls. Uh, so keepers will put in orders the night before. We also have a set standard of diets we prep every day. Think of it like grocery shopping. If everybody in your neighborhood asked you to pick up items on their shopping list. Uh, so we package those all up and then build, uh, stick them into the delivery van to get ready for deliveries. Uh, for about an hour after that, so about seven to eight, uh, the staff is then performing deliveries in several, several different vehicles, anywhere from our daily chops, um, whole produce, and browse. All those deliveries are done before the zoo even opens its gates. You guys move fast. We have to. <laughs> from there, it's inventory, cleaning dishes, more deliveries on foot, and more diet prep. While the specialists are hard at work, so are Jason and Katrina. Their days are spent working with keepers and vets to make sure diets are working for animals. And if they're not, what they can change. So it's a lot of back and forth with keeper groups, especially when we're in diet reviews and then continued back and forth of quality, variety, um, understanding what is actually being eaten and not eaten, because um, we would like to reduce as much waste as possible going in and out of our building. Jason says sometimes he has to work on a cellular level to understand what's going on with an animal's diet. Just, it might take you a month or two months to figure it out, but once you do, there's, there's a real sense of satisfaction that you have because you, made, you know that you made that animal better, you made that animal's life better. Making animals' lives better is why we do everything we do here at Denver Zoo. That's why we spend nearly $1 million a year on the best food possible for our animals, and invest in a team to make sure that food is being used the right way. It's just another way our animals come first here at Denver Zoo. For more Zootrition stories, make sure you're subscribed to Denver Zoo on YouTube and following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you next time.